Hey guys, it's me, Lucas the Gamer 24 Games and More, and today we are back with Super Mario Bros. X Level Editor. Um, I said I would do that soon in the last episode. In reality, I said it, I would do the same day, but I didn't have time because the video took two hours to upload. So yeah. So anyways, I'm just going to do a tutorial series thing on this. Not much. But yeah. So anyways, let's just go. So, the so you might want to do this first. But I usually put the blocks first. You can get... Um, click the level settings tab. Um, then it will bring you to music, backgrounds. How long do you want your level to make? I'm using arrow keys to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, first of all, you want to do your background. All the hills of Super Mario World. And then you can choose the mu music. I almost said music. I mean music. Right here. Boop. 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 There's a ton of music actually. So I'll do um there's even music from that's not even from the game. For example, Cornaria. Wait. A oh, wrong button. Yeah. But I'll go for New Super Mario Bros. And then to make your level longer, just do level boundary and whichever direction. So yeah, and then you get the player locations, which are just the start locations. So yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to get to the main point. So yeah, the main point is just placing the blocks. It's pretty super simple. And see this fill where it says fill? Um, press that and then it will fill the place. Oh, come on, I didn't press it. And then bam. Good. It even fills off the screen. So, yeah. There are even some slopes you can make. Where am I? You can make slopes. And these parts are just for slopes. I didn't put that right there because I, I actually went pretty creative to make it look like a background. So yeah, there are thousands of stuff. Oh, and for example, see this block? You can't really make it do this. But you can put these blocks to make it look like it works. So yeah. And the eraser icon, when you get it, it erases stuff. So yeah. Okay. To get the enemies out, just do this. I mean NPCs. Which you probably already know, they stand for non player characters right here. So you can put Goombas on slopes, they actually work, but that's in the ground. I usually do that, but 
it usually puts two at the same time. Oh, and I forgot to show you these beans. Um, this it will show you it in the advanced video. This is just for to chat with people if they're on. This is at editor help and the gameplay manual. This is the safe open make a new and exit this thing. This is to make it a world editor and this is just to test the level. But to test the level you have to save the game. And I have a ton of other ones. So yeah. I'll call it um wait, what was the other one called? Seriously, what was it? Seriously, I'm looking for it. I think it was called video. I'm just calling this one video. Video. It's kind of like Super Mario Maker. Oh, and I forgot to show you. Level warp or wrap, I don't know. It makes, if you go back, you appear right here. Um, and these sections are sections um, where you just use the warps and doors, which are very advanced. Um, you just place them and run. And then you'll get teleported to that place. Oh, and if you have any like packs or something, um, the NPCs change. Mostly all NPCs change. At least I think all of them can change. Oh, and backgrounds are just uh, stuff that's like behind the scenes. Let's see what I'm talking about. Like this. See? It's behind those blocks. We can even... Oh, wait. Can I get it right? Come on. Oh, and... If you see this auto align thing here, and if you uncheck it, you can place blocks and the backgrounds and anything, anywhere. So yeah, just gonna put that back on. Even though most stuff, for example, the eraser already has auto align off um you can do that oh and i wanted to show you something else Wait. This is will be a water pool. To get the water backgrounds to work, first you need to put 
well, of course, so obvious. The background. We can put whatever background we want. Whatever water background you want. And then you get to the water icon. It's very small. Come on, I can't even put it out. Good. And you can make the water size big and small. You can literally put it like anywhere. Not really, but yes. Oh, and you can make it quick sand, but I won't. I'll show you that in the next video tutorial. So let's test the level. And like I said earlier, you can only test it if you save it. Okay, so this water will work. You can even edit while you're playing it. Not really. Level Warp does this. An off-screen exit does this. You cannot have level work on with this. And that finishes the game, of course. They have everything up there. Yeah. Selection just brings stuff. To a different place. Oh. Oh. And. <sighs> Wait, where are they? Here they are. See these sizable stuff? Well, to, you see this block size thing? You can make sizable stuff even bigger. Probably very useful in a way. For example, you could make a house out of it. They're kind of like backgrounds, also. For example, look. It's behind all of that. I'll erase that and turn that into this. So and then Oh great, I forgot. I'll just erase that Goomba. Oh and I'll actually wait a minute and so special blocks have um these ones which are the question blocks. Of course, you know that. Okay, so let's put a mushroom in there. Let's put five coins. And this one, and this one. Okay, so. And now we're ready. At least we should be. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's ending soon, so yeah. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah.
Bye, yeah, 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 yeah,